and welcome back to Let's Play Ever Oasis. Alright, so in between episodes I basically just optimized everyone's equipment. So now we have the best uh, accessories equipped and the best weapons. Switch back to a sword though. Actually that sword, oh wait no that sword isn't better than mine, never mind. But yeah, all the new accessories equipped. What do we have right now? Ma uh, that extra magic's not going to really help. Neither the status effect, but the defense is going to help a lot. Alright, also before we go, did the exploration team bring back anything good? Let's see, they brought back some levels, that's good too. Yeah, I think everyone just got a level. So they'll be, they'll be better if we decide to bring them along later um, when we go out. Oh, uh, they only brought back one fish bone. I was kind of hoping for more. Here, let's send them back out there. We'll just send the same three. Actually, wait. What if we need a spear user later? Here, let's send out... Let's keep one of them behind. Uh, we'll send Ruben. Yeah, we'll send you three out. Alright, so while they're gone, let's see if the guard has anything good. Uh, Alright, some new items. That's fine. I should probably check on the garden. But you know what, no, let's go finish the dungeon. We kind of want to get rid of the, all this, you know, evil that's surrounding the oasis right now. Oh wait, I think I have an aqua, do you have an aqua gate? No, I don't. Oh, that's right, we use a warp point to get back. That's fine. Uh, I think the back one is the one I want. But yeah, last time we pretty much cleared the entire necropolis. All that's left is the boss. We're fully healed, fully supplied, uh, fully equipped, so we should be good. Oh, I probably should have restocked before I came here, too. Oh, well. I'm sure we'll be fine. Like, 10 health won't... Actually, that's not even 10 health. Like, 5 health won't really hurt that much, or help that much. Alright, let's see what the boss of this area is. Doesn't seem to be anything here. Oh, I remember him. I thought we killed him on accident. Alright, let's see what the Guardian of the Lumite is in this area. It looks like it's sand-based. Makes sense. Ah. Hello, Mr. Scorpi- Scrimp- Shrimpy. Oh yeah, he's based on a shrimp, isn't he? Alright, so all we need to do is hit that glowing spot on his belly. Oh crap, no, move. Oh, hey, we actually avoided that. But yeah, this guy's not too hard. Just get behind him and let your teammates pretty much just distract him for you. Oh crap, no, uh, we're gonna get hit by this. Yeah, he does hit kind of hard, though, even with our new accessories. So we don't- oh, uh, let's move. I don't want to get stuck- down there while he's attacking. Alright, now let's get back down there. Wait. He's burrowing. Time to put away our weapons and run. I don't think you can actually run fast enough with your weapons out. Oh, nope. Okay, I think we're good though. As long as we don't get stun locked, we're. Oh no, I should move. I really should delay my roll a bit. Uh, that being said, let's heal up. I forgot to restock on healing items, but uh, what we have right now should be okay. If I really want to do damage, I should probably switch over to Levi. Yeah, you know what? Let's switch over to Levi. Oh, nope, I actually lost my lock on. That's okay. Because, yeah, he's currently our hardest hitting party member. Oh, nope, time to run. It's fine, as long as we just circle straight, he'll never catch us, apparently. There we go. Oh yeah, and he is super effective against this guy. Unfortunately, we're a bit slower, but that's okay. Uh, we don't have the SP to use a skill yet, though. You know what, I'm just gonna tank the hit. Leave, I can take it. Yeah, he has plenty of HP and defense. Also, is he poisoned? No, I think he's trying to poison us. Well, it doesn't matter, he's dead. Pretty simple battle. Yeah, I think he can actually poison you. I've never actually been poisoned by the boss, but he's glowing green, so that's usually what it means.
Well, that was relatively simple. I kind of forgot about that boss, honestly. Now I kind of remember why. Um, sure you are. Alright, well, I'm sure we'll never run into him again. But anyways, boss down, let's go find that Lumite. Also, how far did he fall down? I think we're only like a floor below where we were before. Also, I think we can use the claw to like forge a new sword, I believe. I'll have to check when we get back. I probably should have checked if I could forge any new items. Oh well. Alright, there it is. Let's grab it, go purify the oasis, and then get back to work. I don't know. The animals are still around, and they're extremely hostile now. Alright, let's do this. So all we need to do is hit it with our green gale. Also, that look on Levi's face. I forgot about that. Alright, so now we have what- I think we have white and green. So there should be one left. Oh wait, was it white or was it blue that we had? Alright, time to actually get rid of the chaos so we can start growing the oasis again. Actually, do we even have any visitors coming over right now? Kinda wanna check. I thought people didn't come over when the chaos took over the oasis, but I guess I was wrong. Oh, we need to find this one. Alright, we'll look for them later. Let's just head back to the oasis. I should also make sure everyone's restocked once we purify the chaos. And we got levels out of that. Awesome. Well, we're slightly better at everything. Yeah, I think we always gain one point in everything except SP. Eventually, we will gain SP point or SP uh, ranks, but not right now. Oh, hey, merchants here. Is there anything I want to buy right now? Kind of want to buy some seeds, honestly. Yeah, let's buy some seeds. How much money do I have? Can I just buy 99 right now? I could. You know what? Screw it. I'm just gonna buy 99 of every type of seed, so I never have to restock again. Uh, I'm wasting so much money, but that's okay. I don't think I can actually afford 99. No, I can't. I probably should have started with the peppers, honestly. Alright, well, I bought seeds. And now I pretty much am good for the rest of the game. At least for the seeds he sells. Uh, once the other merchants come to town, I'll have to buy some seeds from them, too. Plus, we can just grab the money from everyone right now. Oh, wait, that reminds me. I know we should purify the oasis and all, but didn't we grab, like, a new plant at some point that I still need to put down? Oh, yeah, that's right. Let's uh, make things a bit easier to gather. What can I get rid of? What is this? Food sales? That's food, so that's going to help. Fashion, fashion. I need to get rid of one of these. Okay, let's get rid of this one. Because I want to put down the gem plant. So yeah, basically from now on, all the uh, duodems gathered by all the blue, uh, boots will all go to that gem plant. And we can just hit this to gather everything. Unfortunately, since we just planted it, it obviously has nothing in it right now. But yeah, that's going to make gathering up the money a lot easier. But anyways, before we do anything... Well, before we do anything else, let's actually go get rid of the whole purple sky thing. That's kind of bad for business. Like, literally, it is very bad for business. Newts kind of don't want to shop when it looks like the Oasis is, is uh, kind of in hell right now.
But yep, Lumite still has the power to purify chaos. Shame we have to get a brand new one every time this happens. You would think we would be able to use the old ones. Oh well. There we go. Go away, you silly chaos. Think you can get into my oasis. Good thing chaos can't really climb walls. Otherwise, they could get in pretty easily. Those walls aren't actually that high. But, now the chaos is gone. Again. And now we can actually revive twice. So yeah, we're pretty much... Uh, it's gonna be very hard to get a game over. Now that we have two revives, in case we die. Alright, sounds like we need to find the third Lumite, in order to finally get rid of the chaos, and not have to bother with it trying to kill us all, every once in a while. It has been a while since we've seen blue skies, though. And it's gonna be a little, 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 little while longer, because it's night right now. Well, that is our job as a chief. Well, our job is technically to gather more people here to make it better for us. Yeah, that is true. It only gets stronger every time we bring more people to the Oasis. Well, that's good. Although, that might make gathering materials harder. Because if they're not monsters anymore, we're going to have to get, kill them when they're normal animals. Actually, yeah, we're kind of dependent on the monsters to supply the oasis, aren't we? But yeah. That's why they're pretty much just corrupted animals, which is why whenever you defeat them, they turn into little animals and just run away. And yeah, although we can help animals, we can't help sentient beings. I mean, we haven't died one- no way, no, I lied. We did go down once, but we were okay. We just got knocked out a bit. Alright, now it's back to business as usual. Time to go find new people to come to the Oasis. Uh, I guess the first thing we should do is go around town and see if there are any rumors about. Right after we figure out who just came. Who did just arrive to the Oasis? Well, a lot of newts came now that the chaos is gone. More money for me. Oh, Nubit's here. So yeah, now that we've cleared the second dungeon, some new people are going to be coming to town. Like, training and snacking. Those two things kind of counteract each other, but okay. Let's go see what they need. And yeah, we should probably restock now that we've de dealt with the whole emergency situation. I'll worry about forging new equipment later. I want to go see my residents. Right after we get rid of some of the sand. Oh, and I should also check on the garden. We kind of haven't been there for a while. I think my plants are ready. Actually, my plants were probably ready sometime during that dungeon crawl. Oh, hey there. Oh, yeah, I forgot you were here. Alright, so yeah, she wanted soup, drums, and something else. I don't think we have a drummer yet, though. Yeah, we don't have a drum shop yet. Try to remember where I can recruit the drummer. Or, not drummer, but drum shop maker. We'll find it eventually. I'm sure. Oh yeah, this has been ready for a while now, hasn't it? Let's find some new stuff here.
All right, so peppers will be done in a few days. Uh, are these just flowers? Yeah, these are just flowers, aren't they? Madonna lilies. Honestly, I kind of want my plot back. We can get Mariah to stop gardening at some point and just start planting ourselves. Or we could switch her out with someone else with plants that I might need. Because honestly, the stuff Mariah grows, it's helpful, but we have plenty of it now. Also, let's grab the money. This does have a capacity, though. So if it gets too full, you'll have to still gather everything by hand. Oh, wow, they did a lot of sales last night, apparently. Well, yesterday. Whatever. What is on our to-do list right now? Oh, right, find the last Lumite. We'll worry about that later, though. Let's go see who came in. Oh, hey Mira, weren't you out on an expedition? Rubble tunnel south of the oasis. Oh yeah, I remember that door. So yeah, this is what all those slabs we've been uh, finding are for. Basically, we can use them at that door to open up kind of a randomized oh, uh, dungeon to train in. Honestly, I didn't really bother with this too much in my main playthrough, but we could give it a try at some point. But yeah, that's pretty much where you can go to get like materials and grind for levels. I never really found it necessary. But we might find some like super awesome things in there. Not right now though. Right now, we need to expand the oasis. I don't think- oh no, we haven't been to the Kurhari uh, Woodsea yet. Dry Cactus, I don't think I have any. Do I have any dried cactus on me? No, I don't. Alright, we're gonna have to go find some then. We might as well go now. Because I don't think anyone else knew is coming right away. Oh, before we go though, I think Shaq has something he wants to tell us. Midnight, someone around the spring of the great tree. Uh, that sounds suspicious. I guess we'll take a look at that at some point. Alright, so midnight at the spring. 12 a.m., alright, fine. I mean, we can't rest until midnight, but yeah, if we're ever like in the area around midnight, we'll see what's going on. But first things first, let's go find them dried cactus. So let me see, where would this stuff grow? Actually, I should probably just look at my to-do list. It should tell me. Map. Oh, we haven't been to Tumblethorn Road yet. I guess we should probably head to the new area then. Let me see, what would be the quickest way there? Uh, Prover's Cave. Yeah, I think Prover's Cave might be the closest entrance. We can head there by going south, I believe. Actually, do we even have access to the area yet? I think we do. So this is Prover's Cave. Uh, let's head south. I'm just gonna follow the arrows until I get there. We'll follow the blue arrow until I get there. Uh, the red arrow is probably just pointing me back home. Because we need to be at the spring at midnight to trigger that event. Okay, so we can get through it through uh, that cave over there. Oh wait, fish bones. Oh, I never restocked, did I? I'll make sure I do that when I get back. Actually, I don't even have to hit these things with my green gale. We're strong enough now that we can just take them on normally. Like, one good combo will take them out. There we go. And got a few more bones for soup. That being said, how tasty would soup be made from these bones? They've probably all dry- they've probably dried up in the sun at this point. Wouldn't really make very good broth out of that. But then again, it, they're like desert fish, so who knows, they might be super tasty. Also, why'd I run into the quicksand? Let's go the other way around. Oh wow, I didn't know they came this far south. 
Also, maybe I just should uh, switch around my party so that I don't bring any seedlings with me so they can stay home and take care of their boots and make me more money so I can spend more on probably seeds and equipment. Actually, almost entirely on seeds and equipment. And I guess we're building new boots, too. Alright, looks like we can get to the new area from here. I think we have everything unlocked that we need to get through the cave. I think. So yeah, we need to head north. Have we never explored this? Oh yeah, I guess we've never explored this part before, or this area before. Looks like we're gonna need to leave when I get through here. And there's another one of those weird sand column things that we can't do anything uh, with yet. There we go. All we needed was Levi. I don't even think we need him. I think there was a bomb plant in the area. Alright, let's see the new area then. Time to head for the sand sea. Uh, exit's up there. Is there anything else in this area I need to do? I'm just gonna avoid- wait. That's the person. Oh, were you the, uh... Oh yeah, I think you're the person we were looking for. Hi, Alana. You wanna come to my oasis? I see. But yep, she's gonna head to the oasis then. Just cause we talked to her. I'm guessing that every time we talk to someone like that, we're just literally telling them where the oasis is. That being said, it's kinda hard to miss. The giant rainbow tree in the middle of the desert. Especially now that it's starting to get pretty big. Also, save point. Alright, that'll make getting to the new uh, area a lot quicker. But yeah, I don't know if we could get here before uh, we finish the dungeon. I think the area was sealed off. But yep, welcome to the- oh, not Sansy, Woodsy. Whenever I say Sansy, I think of Final Fantasy XII. But nope, this is the Woodsy. It's pretty much the forest of the desert. Not that great of a forest, unfortunately, due to the fact that it's still a desert and there's no leaves anywhere. Also, the enemies around here are kind of tough compared to what we're used to. They are like four levels higher. Still, we'll get strong enough soon, uh, sooner or later. So we need to find some dried cactus. Uh, the green arrow is telling me to go south, so we'll go south. Can I go anywhere right now? Not yet. Also, there are these balloon things. Basically how these work, you jump on them from above and you can float. Unfortunately, we can't get over there yet. We'll be doing a lot with those balloon plants later. Right now, we can't do much with them except actually just jump on them. So let's see, let's go find some more cactus. It is starting to get dark. Uh, where's Levi? We need him to get through here. Okay, yeah, it's starting to get dark. Let's find that dried cactus and head back. I wanted to see if I can get her into the oasis before she leaves in the morning. Uh, is this still dried cactus? No, that is albino, albino bark. Oh wait, no, it does drop dried cactus. Alright, that should be all the dried cactus we need. Yep, that's all the dried cactus we need. Here, before we head back, I think there's a warp point somewhere around here. Oh yeah, I think it's in here. I just want to activate it so I can come back here at any time and not have to keep walking through the area. Oh wait, is there a warp point? No, it doesn't look like it. There is a person here though. Hello. Ooh, a book salesman. I don't think we know anyone who wants books yet, but that could prove helpful. Uh, Kalahari Cactus. Well, this is the Kalahari Woodsy, so that makes sense. Oh, I don't think we have a pellet user. Seriously? Okay, fine. But yeah, we're gonna have to come back here with someone with pellet, because I don't think... I think Carlotta... You don't have pellet, do you? No, you have Paraflower. Okay, we'll have to come back with someone with pellet then. Whoops. Let's head back. We'll deal with this in the morning. He can survive out here at night, right? He's in a cave. It's sheltered. 
Sure, there might be monsters in the area, but he'll figure it out. Alright, so let's see. Uh, where is she? Oh, I think she moved to the main road. Also, while I'm here, let's restock. You know what? Just do it for me. I trust you. That being said, I don't want to rely too much on auto restock just so I can keep track of my stock. Uh, what is it? My item stocks? As in my actual material stocks, not the item stocks of the shops. I just want to make sure I'm not burning through everything super quickly without noticing. Ah, uh, let's get the gems. Yeah, I love gem plants. They're just so helpful. Oh, there you are, Nubit. Here is your dried cactus. Enjoy! And we got some monochrome wear. Oh, we should try putting that on. Actually, do we have any new clothes we could try out? I thought we had a new turban. No, I think we're wearing the new turban, that's right. Never mind. But, Nubin has joined the Oasis. Uh, and it looks like- okay, yeah, she opened the snack shop. Do we have any more room for shops right now? I think we still have some room in the back road. Now we have 19 9 there. 19? 19 people at the Oasis. Alright, so before we end the episode, I'm actually going to run home real quick. I want to try out the new monochrome wear. And then we'll also probably call it a night. I don't want to really proceed with the main story quite yet. I want to recruit more people for the Oasis. Because more people means more HP and more money. Mostly more money. Alright, also, uh, let's see. So right now we're wearing the Chief's clothes. Traveler's wear. Oh, we've never worn this before, have we? Let's try this. So, monochrome wear. How's that look? Not horrible. Yeah, we're very muted. We're wearing very muted colors now. Alright, before we do anything, though, can I upgrade any of my weapons? Ooh, Starry Leaf, uh, leaf Blade. Yeah, let's upgrade to a Starry Leaf Blade. There we go. It's black. Alright, so now our weapon has been upgraded. Uh, I don't really want to make any new accessories. Oh, let's make some, like, medicine. We're kind of running low on this stuff. Let's make four. We can get some more materials later, or through, like, explorations. I do want to recruit more non-seedlings, though, so I can send them out. I mean, right now... Actually, right now, I think we have enough for two teams. If I take Levi... No, wait, no. We only have five people. We need to recruit one more non-seedling in order to get two teams. But anyways, with that, I think I'll end the episode here. So, next time on Let's Play Ever Oasis, we'll probably wrap up our recruiting drive and then proceed with the main story. I just have to be careful not to head to the spring at midnight until I'm ready. Also, before we end things, someone new came. Is the person we saw earlier? Oh yeah, I think it is Alana. Yep, Alana's here. We'll go see what she wants later. But yeah, with her around, if we kick Levi out of the main party, we'll have enough for two exploration teams and gather more materials. That being said, I like Levi, so he'll probably stay in the party for a while. But, till then.